how to use calendar appointment app for Shopify. Hey everyone and welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I will show you step by step how to use it, how to install it to your store and also how to set it up accordingly. Now, if you don't know what calendar is, it's pretty much an application that you could use with Shopify and it's going to help you with appointments. So if you're, you know, instead of selling products as usual with Shopify, instead you actually want to set up appointments, then you can actually do this with this application. There's a free plan available to this app as well, which is going to be a very good free plan that they offer. Uh, but obviously you can feel free to also upgrade for more. And we're going to talk about this soon when we actually open up the app. Now, what's the main thing about it is that it's actually going to replace the add to cart button on your product pages to book now buttons. So it's actually going to become an appointment instead of a product. So with that being said, we can just go ahead and get started by showing you how to install it to your uh, store or Shopify store. And the first step is that you will need to log into your admin for Shopify. Once you're in your Shopify admin, you basically just want to go to the Shopify app store. So just go to apps, click on that, click on all recommended apps, and then just click on Shopify app store here at the bottom. Once this opens up, we are just going to do a very simple search and you just want to search for calendar as you can see, and you should be able to see it right away as the first option. If not, you can just find it right below uh, because you know, sometimes uh, some ads are going to be at the top. But anyways, once you actually see appointment booking, appointment booking calendar, this is the one that we wanted to go for. So just go ahead and click on that. And then from here, we can actually feel free to read more about it and what it actually does for you. So you can actually see replace the add to cart button for a book now button on any product page, which is the main feature, which is going to allow you to add booking. So if you're, you know, uh, doing some sort of services instead of products, you can actually use this. So set up in-person meetings or virtual bookings through Zoom or Google Meet. It's going to be up to you. And you also are going, you're going to get email notifications and reminders for appointments and bookings uh, and also more things here as well. So you can just feel free to read more about it. And before we click on install, let's just talk about the plans real quick. You're going to get a free plan, which is going to be a very powerful one because you're going to get unlimited bookings, unlimited services, unlimited appointments email notifications and also more things to it but then you can also feel free to upgrade in order to get more things as well so you're going to have the pro plan elite or ultra depending on which one you're going to be needing so you can feel free to pause the video now and see which one is going to suit you and your business best and go for it but i'm just going to stick with the free one for the time being so let's just go and install that in order to do so you just need to again navigate to the app make sure it's the right one and then you just want to click on install and this is going to open up a new page here for us where we will be required to confirm the installation so just click on install one more time from the bottom right in order to confirm that and this is going to start to the setup process meanwhile we can just feel free to exit out of these two pages because we don't need them okay so now we are going to start with the setup so we're going to first enable the app and then create our first appointment or booking. So we can just begin with the enabling the app embed. Uh, so just click on enable calendar from here and this is going to take you to the online store. Like so if you click on go to theme editor, which is just going to open up your online store, go to themes and click on customize. It's going to open up the same thing. And then it's going to take you to app embeds and you will be able to see calendar. Just make sure this is turned on uh, because if you don't see that button from the first place, you can feel free to do it uh, manually by going to the same steps. Online store, themes, customize, app embeds. You should be able to, uh, to find calendar. So just make sure it's turned on and you can just simply save from the top right and safely exit out of this page. Now, once this is done, we can actually go ahead and continue on and build our first um, appointment or booking, booking. But first, we are going to be able to select the plan that we want to go for. So I'm just going to stick with the free one and click on continue. And again, you can feel free to pause this video right now and see which one is going to suit you best. Now, the first step is going to be setting up the languages that you're going to support. So by default, it's going to list in the languages. And then if you want to add more, you can just feel free to click on here and select, for example, Arabic. It's going to be added, but I'm just going to leave it as it is and click on continue. 
and then you're going to set up also the time zone now remember this is going to be very important because this is after all a an appointment app so this is going to be very important and also the uh, format for the uh, times uh, so whether you want it to be uh, the 12 hour format or the 24 hour format I prefer the 12 hour format to be honest but you can just go for any that you actually prefer and then you go go into uh, select the day where the week starts for you so I'm just going to go for Sunday for me maybe you want to go for Monday but I'm just going to stick with Sunday as the beginning of the week and then we can just go ahead and click on continue Next, you're going to select which type of, of, uh, of an appointment you actually want. So by if you're using the free version, this is the only one that you have, which is going to be an appointment that lasts from 15 minutes to a few hours, which is going to also be less than 24 hours uh, bookings. And then we also have more few uh, uh, pro features here that you can also feel free to use, but we don't really have access to those. So I'm just going to stick for the first one and click on continue. And now again, this is going to be something that is, um, you know, with the free version, we only have the price which is paid on Shopify, but you can also make it a free appointment if you have the pro uh, plan. And also if you want it to be paid, but not on Shopify, you also will need to have the pro future. So we just want to keep it as paid on Shopify. If you have the free uh, plan only, if you want to select other ones, you can just feel free to do so if you have the uh, pl plan accordingly. So just go and click on continue to move on. Now in here, you will need to select a product that is going to be the appointment. So you are going to be required to create a product if you didn't one, if you didn't create one already. So you can just go to products and create one. But if you already have one, you can just go ahead and continue. So uh, you are going to click on yes, if you have one, if not, you can just click on uh, no, and this is going to allow you to create one. But I'm just going to go ahead and click on pick the Shopify product, click on select product and select the product that is needed. So let's just say this is the product that we want as an appointment. So click on add. And again, like I said, this is going to switch out the add to cards button to an, uh, book an appointment button or book this instead. So click on continue once you're done. If not, click on no and select the price that you want it to be uh, with the currency that you're currently using so next up we have the availability so this is going to be when you're actually going to have the appointments ready or you're available for these appointments so by default you're going to select whether it's going to be weekdays or date ranges that you select yourself if you want to do that you can just go ahead and select that which is going to allow you to select between a specific date and the other but i'm just going to stick with weekdays and from here, you're going to also select which weekdays you actually want to work on. So whether it's going to be from Monday to Friday, you can select that. Whether it's going to be Saturday Saturday to Sunday or every day. If it's not one of these options, you can also feel free to add them manually. For example, if you have from Sunday to uh, Thursday, you can go Sunday and then add weekday and keep adding until you get to Thursday. And this is going to be how it works. So for example, now let's just add three. So we have Monday. Tuesday and you know you get the idea until Thursday but then you can also set up these separate times for each one of them so from beginning to end for each day and then we have the bottom here the meeting duration we have 30 minutes 60 minutes up to 120 minutes and then if you want to add a custom one you will be required to have the pro plan to do so so I'm just going to set it up to be with 60 minutes as an hour and click on continue now, this is going to be a, a little hefty on the free version, but it's the only option that you have, which is going to be how many people you can deal with per time slot. And uh, the free one is going to allow you to only have unlimited number of bookings per time slot. So you can actually have three people booking on the same exact time, uh, which is, you know, not the best, but you can, I guess, manage if you uh, could contact them or something. But this is not going to allow... Uh, the prevention of double bookings for a given time slot. If you wanted to do, for example, one person per time slot, then you will need to uh, upgrade to the pro future. Uh, but we are just going to stick with the free one and click on create my service. And this should uh, finalize the process of the service. 
So from now on, because you have this service, you can either create a new one from the top right and it's going to be exactly the same steps or you can actually go ahead and view the ones that you have created from my services section on the app, as you can see on the left side here. My services, you're going to see all the services that you have and you can feel free to edit them, edit the time, edit the availability, everything. And uh, about it, you can feel free to click on edit and be able to do so. And now because we have selected this product to it, if you just go to online store, open this up and go to that specific product. For example, let's just go to red first. You can see add to cart by it now. But if we go to the other product, which is this one, which we created the booking for, is now pretty much says book now instead. If you click on that, you will have the different times where you will are going to be pretty much available if this decides to load in first. So you can actually see how many bookings you actually want and you can select the date and also the time and then we can book so we are pretty much good to go and this is pretty much all you need to do if you want again to create a new one you click on new service on the top right and i believe you can also feel free to add teammates or translations uh, as well i'm not sure if whether it's free or not you can feel free to read more about it uh, but yeah this is pretty much all for this video hopefully you found it to be informative and thanks for watching